So we have invested in Australia for close to 12 years now. Uh, we think it's a, it's a great market uh, where you have a stable economy, you have a reasonably high growing, fast growing economy, you have rule of law, you have a GP um, universe that is very experienced, that is very capable and has delivered strong cash on cash returns to investors. So particularly in an Asia Pacific context, we think that Australia is a very um, attractive market to deploy capital. We, we want our partners here to be successful. We definitely try to help as much as we can uh, introducing new investors to the GPs that we invest with in order to support their fundraising. Um, perhaps from a more selfish perspective, you know, less capital driving up valuations, of course, is, is better. So to the extent that less capital is raised, um, I think we probably benefit from that net-net, but clearly we want the GP community here to be successful. We think it is important long-term for Australian LPs to be active participants. I think that is likely. If you, you know, go back you know, five, six, seven years, you, know, you saw a very broad range of GPs creating you know, quite attractive returns, but it wasn't always clear you know, what was driving those returns. And I think uh, many of those GPs were perhaps just lucky riding the wave and, and benefiting from an overall very favorable macro environment. I think what is happening now is that um, as it becomes increasingly difficult to rely on purely the global macro environment um, and multiple arbitration or even financial engineering to get your returns, the only way really you are able to get returns that are still attractive is by strong operational improvements of these businesses. And there's only a few GPs, I think, that are really good at that. Um, and so I think you will see a number of GPs probably go out of business and perhaps indeed you know, merge or consolidate. Um, I think that in itself is, is not a bad thing. NYOB was clearly a, a, a very profitable and uh, successful transaction. Um, you know, we have a global co-investment um, business. We look at all the investments that we see across you know, our, uh, our portfolio um, on a kind of case-by-case -case basis. So we like Australia. We have invested here uh, for a long period of time. We will continue to invest here. Um, you know, the MYOB deal does not necessarily change our attitude. Um, you know, we will look at any deal that we see and compare it on a global basis. Um, and if we find the risk return dynamics to be sufficiently attractive, you know, we will uh, we'll make an investment. I, I actually think that secondary buyouts or even tertiary buyouts are a natural part of the private equity investment activity. You know, we've seen it in the US, we've seen it in Europe, and there is no conclusive evidence either way, whether it's bad or good. Um, we have seen successful secondary buyouts, we've seen deals where it wasn't so successful, but by and large, um, you know, we, we don't think it's a problem. You know, we just see it as part of uh, deals, deal sourcing uh, opportunities for, for GPs.